um, psychic assaults are also very important. As I always tell people, disease starts at the energy level. And this is very important. Uh, I have a whole page of stress questions on my questionnaire for my clients. Relationship stress, job-related stress, family-related stress. The message is, if you have stress in your life, you have to do something about it. You know, if you have a job that you hate going to work every day, you've got to change your job because it's killing you and things of that nature. Because what I do is I teach you what I know that you need to do. And then it's up to you to do something. You see, people go to the white coats because they like having no responsibility. The doctor says, all you need to do is take this pill. You can keep eating garbage. You can keep smoking. You can keep drinking. You can keep doing everything you're doing. Just take this pill. You see, that's a wonderful message. Unfortunately, the pill makes you sicker. And that's the way it works. But once you actually take responsibility for yourself and, and make the effort to learn what you need to learn and then do it, it's amazing. Being well again. I can't tell you, well, I'm sure a lot of you know what it, what it feels like to be healthy, to vibrate, to have your cells vibrating with energy. It's a whole different ball game, And that's, that's what God gave us. And we need to get that back and share that gift with others. And that's what the chiropractors are doing. And I take my hat off to them. I, I must tell you that I have always, for 10 years, been speaking as the chiropractors, as the true healers. And that is what, what my gift to them is, is to elevate them way above the white coats, who call, called them quacks for so many years. It's going to be funny how it all works out. Okay. And then the last thing we have down here is the legal assaults and justice. I'm not going to go into that too much, but let me just tell you, as I ended up getting divorced because my ex-husband wanted me to be a rich surgeon and I entered the divorce courts and I found out what the courts are really all about. And there is no pill for injustice. And that's something that an attorney that I'm working with, Richard Fine, uh, a constitutional attorney who lost his bar license a year ago because of all the federal courts cases that he was bringing against corrupt alphabet agencies. But it's going to be funny how it works out in terms of that as well, because he has a, a plan to bring our Constitution back to this country by bringing grand juries in, in every area of the country that you can imagine to actually oust the corrupt judges. So I just want to give you that hope. And just so that you know, things are changing. They, it is not going to work out the way that these minions plan. Everything is going to be OK. It may get a little rough for a couple of years while we work these things out. But the bad guys are not going to win, and I know that for a fact. And uh, the people are amassing together now that are going to make it happen. So anyways, the bottom line is that you go from wellness to disease based on these assaults on, the, on your immune system. All of these assaults, as I said, it goes down to the floor and on to China. When one of the assaults is more than your body can handle, this is when you start getting symptoms. And the symptoms are a gift to you from the creator. That is your body saying, Hello, you're doing the wrong thing. And that assault could be simple as you getting a phone call, somebody saying that your mother died. You know, it can be any kind of uh, trauma that you have. It can be a car accident. Whatever that assault is. As a matter of fact, back in the days when they were spritzing women in department stores, I've got a couple of clients that had that happen to them. You go into a department store and they spritz you with a clone and that's the final assault because of all of those chemicals and you develop multiple chemical sensitivity. So the final assault can be anything. But the last thing you want to do is go to the white coats who are going to manage your disease. One of the most amazing things, once I finally came back to my consciousness, just so that you know, when you go to medical school, they sleep deprive you, they nutritionally deprive you. I now realize it's all done on purpose because the goal is to feed you all the information they need to feed you, but have you not remember anything. Because when you get out, you're just going to write a prescription. So why do you need to know anything, you see? But they do have to teach you that stuff. 